How's it going everybody? We have a beautiful unboxing today. This is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX Titan X graphics card uh, from NVIDIA. Um, Titan X, bottom of the box here. We have all the features, we have all the minimum system requirements, PCI Express lane, everyone knows that. One eight pin, one six pin, minimum of 600 power supply, 600 watt power supply. Um, memory, of course. Uh, two gigs or four gigs recommended of system RAM. Uh, I should have make sure on the website it does say 24 or 48 recommended. I don't know why, it must be a typo, but on the box it says 2 gigs and 4 gigs. 600 watts power, includes in the box the Titan X graphics card, experience software disc, um, quick start guide, and a custom collectible um, NVIDIA badge for your case. It has metal in it, they recommend not to put it on any of your chassis or anything on the inside. This beast will be going in the fo small form factor uh, cyber power PC um, thing battle box I have here I originally had a 980 in there right now it's out of the 750 Ti but I took the 980 back so I could get this thing because it was announced oh, right around the time about three weeks of when I had the micro center um, return policy so I was like you know what screw it let's take it back let's get this bad boy let's spend a thousand dollars on the graphics card right when I bought this PC it was only twelve hundred dollars right now since I'm putting so much, I'm putting power supply, a uh, bunch of crazy stuff. I'm going to put some Dominator RAM in there. We'll get into that video later. Let's jump into the unboxing of this. Here we go. All right. It's a beautiful box. It's beautiful. It's like if you ever had an Astro headset. That's what it feels like when you're opening this thing. It's so awesome. Set that there. All right. First thing we have, inspired by gamers, built by NVIDIA. Got all my Razer stuff, don't worry about it. This is the graphics card. I'm not going to take it out of the static proof packaging. But uh, if you can see, pretty sure you can see, the shroud on it, the custom cooler. Stock cooler is black. And it says Titan here at the top. Pretty sweet. We have the uh, illuminating GeForce GTX uh, logo here. It takes, if you can see here takes uh, an 8 pin here and a 6 pin there power connectors it has we can see it on the back here this thing goes in the way but I'll count them out there's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 gigs of onboard memory 12 gigs the biggest I've ever made in any graphics card uh, of course it has your uh, SLI bridge compatible so four way SLI it's gonna work here all right and then moving over to the ports here, we have the same as the GTX 980. We have a display port, an HDMI 2.0 port, um, a display port, and a display port, and then of course a DVI port. No one uses those anymore. If you're running this thing, you better not be running a, a DVI anyway. Who wants a digital signal or an analog signal? I don't even know why they put that on here. They should have just added like another, should have just made more fan vents or something. But yeah, that's the card. Here is the uh, manual. Let me put this bad boy back in here. Comes with the disc. It's a quick start guide. Here's the special edition case badge. Um, it's all black. And I don't know if you can hear that. It has like, a, like little rivets on it. And it's made out of metal. So they recommend that you not put it on in your inner chassis and stuff like that. Because they don't want to have shock and stuff. Alright. That's the GTX Titan X right there, guys. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I'll, get, I'll have an updated video when I get into my computer. I'll be upgrading the CPU and all that stuff. Um, see my monitor here. I've got it on the monitor. Pretty cool. But um, yeah, I'll have a brand new 4K monitor hooked up that I just received also from FedEx right when I got this. So I'll be hooking all that stuff up. You guys will get an update video. I'll run Valley Benchmark. We'll run some benchmarks. Uh, Battlefield Hardline. We'll do a bunch of stuff. We'll run Afterburner and try to see how much we can kick into this thing. I'm looking at trying to at least overclock it. I know uh, we've had a couple people on YouTube overclock it like 30%, which is ridiculous. Um, but they're doing it on a test bench, so they have open uh, air cooling and stuff like that. I'm going to be doing it in here. And uh, I'll probably push around 12%, maybe 15%. I'll, I want to copy the uh, EVGA super clocked um, graphics card. Uh, with the stock cooler that they have, so just want to get the same performance. I mean, I basically paid thirty dollars less than just buying it from them, and I can tweak it myself. So yeah, uh, that's the video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching.